most Christians, it may come as a surprise to learn that the lives of Jesus and his mother are narrated in the Quran. Like the Bible, the Quran claims that Jesus was born miraculously to the Virgin Mary. Good afternoon. Where do you come from? Palestine? Yep. Jordan? Uh, Libya? As in Christian schools, Muslim schools also teach children about Jesus, but their stories are different from the ones Christian children learn. Because they don't understand. They think that a prophet is coming to tell people just to go to the mosque, the synagogue, the temple, and just to worship, and to act different, and to be awkward, and to be difficult, and to see everything wrong. No, 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 no. It is there to live and there is no example that is better for man than an example of a prophet and for us as Muslim the example of Jesus Christ mentioned in the Quran as Muslims who are living uh, in a Christian country uh, ruled by a Christian queen a Christian monarch uh, it is important for the Muslims to realize that the heritage that this country has it's a very good heritage because Christianity, it is essence, the religion of God. And we as Muslims, we must believe in Christianity. How do we call Isa in English? What do we call him? Aman? Jesus, peace be upon him. Very good. But being in an Islamic school, I think it's just a, the general stereotypical attitude that some people have, Muslims and non-Muslims. Islamic school, what do they teach and what are they up to? And how will it affect my child's CV? Allah spoke to Jesus, peace be upon him, and gave him some new rules. And he gave him a book called the Injil. Just like he gave Prophet Muhammad afterwards, the Quran. What I emphasize, that which is common between us and the Christian, between Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Jesus Christ, must be brought together in the life of the children, so that when they live in the wider world, they appreciate that we all come from the same father, and we all have the same ideal. We as Muslims, we have to believe in Jesus, son of Mary, so seriously that we believe he is going to be coming as the prophet of the end of time. إذ قالت الملائكة يا مريم إن الله يبشرك بكلمة بكلمة منه اسمه المسيح عيسى بن مريم. The story of Jesus' birth is narrated in vivid detail in the Quran. As in the Bible, an angel tells Mary she is pregnant despite being a virgin. But the story of what follows then changes completely. In the Quran's version, there's no stable, no manger, and above all, no Joseph. There's no support structure, there's no loving husband, there's no nice midwife. You know, there's no everybody with their bundle of joys and balloons and, and, and cuddly teddy bears coming along to say, Oh, Mary, wonderful, you know. She is alone. In the Bible, Mary's role is limited to the passive mother of Christ. The Quran gives accounts of her ancestry, her birth, her childhood in the Temple of Solomon, and as mother of Jesus. She's the only woman mentioned by name in the Quran. Saint Mary is an Iranian film based on the Quran's version of her life. The film Saint Mary was something that came about because of an inspiration that I always had about, uh, uh, about Virgin Mary, uh, the story of Virgin Mary mentioned in the Quran. It had a great impact in many Muslim countries. Uh, even Muslims didn't know that uh, how the Quran describes Mary, speaks about her, and uh, how great a lady she is. Albert Goro, Manam Mariam, Khidmat Guzoretu. So Mary is uh, treated in the Quran right from her birth, and the way she was born, and the way she was dedicated to God and the way she was raised, and then the way she was being contacted by the angels, preparing her, giving her the news that something important is going to happen. خداوند تو را برگزید و پاک گردانید و از میان همه زنان تو
تو را برای امر بزرگ خیش اختیار نمود she is seen as a as the the ultimate model of perfect balance as muslim women um we believe that mary the mother of jesus so as you say islam isa is a very powerful role model for us she's also seen as a symbol of purity a figure young muslim women can look up to At this event, there's a rap performance inspired by stories of Mary in the Quran. You will see the pearl open, open her wide, and inside will shine her inner beauty. When someone told me there's a chapter Mary in the Quran, I was like totally gobsmacked. I was thinking, hold on, I went to school with a lot of Muslims, and then none of them, none of them told me this. So I said, what? There's a chapter Mary? I said, what? The, the same Mary that's the mother of Jesus? I said, yeah. I said, no, I've got to get this Quran. I'm trying to step like a modern day Mary, mother of Isa, soldier of Allah, spiritual senorita, piety like first Khalifa. If Mary was here today, as far as I'm concerned as a Muslim woman, she'd be rolling with us, you get what I'm saying? Like, she'd be rolling with us, she'd be dressing like us, you know. She'll be, she'll be setting an example the way we're trying to set an example. Before I was a Muslim, you know, I had a red Mohican. I was, like, into short skirts. I was walking about thinking, yeah, you know, I'm liberated, I'm liberated. But I realised men just didn't have no respect for me. Her love of Allah wrote deeper than lava beneath the earth's crust. Free from lust, she never clutched, just placed her trust in Allah, door of the dust. So it's a must for us to resurrect her legacy, and he saved us in a tragedy. As in the Bible, an angel tells Mary she is pregnant despite being a virgin. Angel Gabriel comes in and says, I've come to you with the good news. And she says, uh, what is the good news? And uh, Angel says, you are pregnant. What? I'm not even married yet. For us, for a child to be born, there must be a father, there must be a mother, there must be, okay, a marriage. And that, where a child is born. And the angel says, well, God does what he wants. He just says, be and it is. And the angel blew on to Mary. And she conceived. Maryam. من جبرئیل فرستاده ی پروردگار تو هم تا پسری پاکیزه به تو عطا کنم After she conceives the Quran's version differs from that in the Bible There is no Joseph in the story in, in the Quranic story she's alone completely alone with this burden literally a physical burden Instead of being protected by Joseph and giving birth in a manger, Mary's labor takes place alone, under a date tree in the desert. The discomfort of being heavily pregnant in the desert, alone, knowing that you're carrying this sort of scandalous, uh, you know, burden, if you like. And she, she's in the throes of labor. And there, in, you know, in the pain, you see her humanity and you relate to her and she's like, would that I be a thing undone? Would that I be dead before this? Comforted her. This is one of the most beautiful things that could ever happen to anyone. That you've been tried and you've gone through the rough bits, and now God comforts you. And God spoke to her and said, "Teshni, be zamin azir paayat benigar. Khudavand baray to cheshmi jari kardas." In the Quran, Mary returns to her people. As an unmarried mother, she causes outrage. 